I've been working on Philips Environmental Profit and Loss Account. You could think of that as the bill that Mother Earth would send to Philips for the environmental impacts that its products and operations generate. The environmental state of the planet worries me. That's also the reason I've been working in environmental management for the past 25 years. Uh, that's why I'm happy I can help steer Philips environmental efforts by providing concrete numbers. To come to these numbers, we use life cycle assessment. It's a methodology to calculate the environmental impact of products over the full product life cycle from cradle to grave. And to give an example, one of the environmental impacts that we calculate is smog, which affects people's health all over the world. It is quite abstract, so how do we translate that into euros? For that we use valuation techniques like willingness to pay. For example, we know there is a relation between life expectancy and air pollution, and from health economics we know how much people value a year of their life. I think it's quite courageous that Philips went public with these uh, numbers because putting a euro number on abstract environmental impacts makes it much more tangible. In that sense, money talks. And since there has been more attention to this, also internally, I receive more requests from the businesses to help them measure their environmental impact. Uh, for example, of their packaging innovation or recycling initiatives. As a next step, I would find it very challenging to help put also a euro number on the positive impact that Philips has on people's lives, for example, through the healthcare solutions. And I just wonder how many billions uh, that number would be.